Good afternoon, Chris. Uh, it's, a hey. for me and Derek, it's a pleasure for me and Derek to be here. So, um, I, firstly, you're e-commerce Chris, man. You're the rock star. We are. And we, and How we, did we meet? We, <laughs> well, we met because we needed you, Chris. Right. And we were, in tr we were in trouble because we were naive. We were ignorant. We didn't understand Amazon. We, we were good clients of Amazon's. We were good customers of Amazon's. You're a good brand on Amazon. Great brand. We're, we're yes. the number one nutrition in brand in the world. marketplaces around the globe. You were in global yeah. marketplace sales. Yeah, and, and Chris, through our own ignorance and naivety of not understanding how Amazon operated and not being able to get Amazon to respond back to us, mm -hmm. we, we just did some dumb, stupid things which were innocent to us trying to open up again. We're just repeating, and that caused us nothing but a huge tangle. And you know, then we, we, we didn't know how to untangle this labyrinth that we created innocently, and it's then we found problem. you for it. We it's a common you. problem. It's, I think it's instinctual. A lot of people, if they think their brand is at stake or they've got um, some sort of, you know, blocker or obstacle to try to troubleshoot it, right? You don't necessarily think, should I do this myself or not when you first start? Yeah, we did. Well, Chris, we didn't know what to do. We, we were following the rules. You know, we, we were abiding with Amazon's rules, policies, doing everything. And we were wondering why we couldn't operate. We, we, we're trying to figure out why we're getting taken down. Mm -hmm. And because we, we, were, we were going in and making the submissions, but no one was responding. And yeah. so that's when we needed, a, and Chris, that's when we realized we needed a professional and, and we just want other people out there around the globe to know, you know, uh, firstly, uh, Amazon's a real beast. And if you don't understand right. it, it's, gonna, it's, it's just going to become a nightmare for you. And, and no, uh, thankful to you, my chief operating officer, he found you. And uh, then we connected Chris and I tell you, we've had an incredible experience, Chris, and we've become friends through the process. And mm -hmm. on behalf of Derek and I and Freezor and our two companies, Freezor and Turner, we want to on behalf of Freezer Omega-3, yes. the number one Omega, the number yeah. one Omega 3 on the planet. And of sure. course, the Freezer Manuka Honey, UAF 1000, number one Manuka, Manuka Honey. honey on which... Now, Chris, I heard you've been to New Zealand. Right, New Zealand. So so Noel and I have New Zealand in common. You were you were born on the North Island, correct? Yep, in Wanganui. Yes, you were yep. born there. Okay. And I've spent a lot of time on the North Island and the South Island over the last, I don't know, off and on over the last few years. Yep. This time last year, I was in New Zealand. So it was a lot yep. warmer being summer there yeah. So, yeah yeah it's beautiful and I, I i and what i've learned is you love it so much you're going to come back down there and maybe even become a never know a resident chris wouldn't that be nice to be multi-country <laughs> yeah, yeah yeah definitely a frequent visitor and yeah. um, a lot of people know new zealand from manuka honey but talk a little bit about your brands and also you were trying to sell in multiple marketplaces right that was kind of yeah. Just, just maybe kind of run some sellers in case they're facing the same problem. Yeah, through yeah. How it started, and then they they did that mass purge of your related to another suspended account. That's that's right, Chris. You know all that terminology, and I don't know. I'm just a dumb, <laughs> stupid hunter gatherer, fisherman, farmer from New Zealand. You know, uh, yeah. I was the pioneer of the greenlit muscle industry, which is uh, the greenlit muscle, which is mm -hmm. the Turner Turner Green Muscle Oil, which is like the same as the Freezer Mega Three. Some people like it right. as greenlit muscle. Some yeah. so. Um, Nice. And of course, you talked about the Manuka honey. Really, uh, we have something really, really special. Uh, we add these seven really powerful plant extracts to our Manuka honey, which actually accentuates it uh, to the potency of a thousand times more antiviral, antibacterial. So it's an incredible Manuka honey. It's, we got the best certified Manuka honey with these incredible seven sacred superfood antioxidants from plants that we add to it, which it just turbocharges it. And how did but, you how did you come to start selling it on Amazon versus your own site or other platforms? How did that all very, begin? Very good, Chris. I've always sold person to person and I also have a television show in America where you are right now. I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm on business in Europe right now. I live in New Zealand. I also live in America and I'm just in Europe at the moment. Yeah. So where you are right now in America. Um, and so we've always sold through uh, my infomercial and through person to person, which has worked really successfully for us over the last 10 plus years. And before that, I've been in the organic food space for the last 50 years, uh, right. organic and bio, as they say in Europe, you know, just clean products from New Zealand. And I realized just how special the New Zealand products are. And sometimes, and, and what happened, Chris, is we were on television. I have a TV, like I said, a TV show. I'm on pers I'm doing person to person marketing. We're doing email campaigns. We're doing catalogs. We're doing, but we realized Amazon was taking over, and we 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 realized Amazon was taking over, Chris. And we realized um, we had right no now, choice. I think. 
Yeah, I know that. Yeah. That's Jeff. That's Jeff Bezos calling me. But Jeff can wait. Jeff, I'm talking to Chris. Chris, uh, right. e-commerce Chris. So just wait, Jeff. Okay, I'll be with you in a minute. Okay, you got plenty of money, Jeff. Okay, all right. Um, and yeah, and give and and promote Chris's business. He's really helping you out. Okay, <laughs> I'll talk to you, Jeff. Yeah. Clarifying the things that Amazon Teams won't explain to you, right? Why, <laughs> exactly. why you're suspended? What you need to submit? Um, the vortex of verify this, confirm this address, and make sure go for it, Chris. Go they for don't it. really that's, broadcast. Chris, no, that's what I went through. Keep talking. That's that's exact. But how I got on Amazon, I realized, um, you know, he's ruling the world uh, because he's made this uh, customer centric um, platform where the customer can't lose the you know, free shipping. A plethora of products, you know, every, every, every competitor is there and the consumer basically just pick what they want, lowest price, free shipping, everything they want. And really you have no choice as a seller, as a supplier, as a manufacturer right. to be up there. And so there were, we, I wasn't left with any choice, Chris. If I wanted to sell my product, I had to have a presence on Amazon. And that's, I went there kicking and screaming. I, <laughs> I didn't want to be on Amazon. Jeff, I didn't want to be on Amazon, okay? But you forced me. <laughs> Well, Derek, what did you think in the beginning when you were starting all this Amazon stuff? Did you anticipate account setup problems, account suspension problems? No. Is it something you'd dealt with or heard of before? No, so I, we've shopped on Amazon a ton. I love shopping on Amazon and they made the consumer end super great. And yeah. we kind of assumed the seller side would be the, exactly the same thing. Mm -hmm. And we got into it. It was, it was pretty crazy. Um, it was yeah. very confusing. Um, lots of technical terms, lots of stock responses. Mm -hmm. So when we tried to open Europe, we we submitted the account. They asked for some documents. We sent it to Dover, thinking everything was easy, and they came back with the same stock answer, saying submit the documents. And we kept saying we submitted them; yeah. they're fine. Yeah. They wouldn't tell us what's wrong with them. So then we kind of just forgot about it and moved no on. No communication. Yeah, yeah, no communication. No, no real. I mean, they wouldn't tell us what was wrong with it. So we let it go for a few months, and then we came back and we were like, "Oh, it's not working. Let's just try a new account because that seemed like the logical thing to do." It's like that account. Common, common response. Exactly. Yeah. That account's broken. Let's just start a new one and move on. So we did the same thing. Submitted a bunch of documents. They wouldn't tell us what they wanted. So we said, "Forget about it again. We'll just focus on the U.S." And we built the U.S. And then randomly, you know, six months or nine months <laughs> later, all the accounts get shut down, and we're, like, we're just so confused about what happened. And we tried to talk to them, and they would say, "Oh, you have to fix." the old account, but they wouldn't tell us which old account it was. They would just say, fix it. And so we'd have right. to like go through, you know, dozens and dozens of emails trying to figure out what they were talking about. Calls to yeah. account health. Called I every mean, day, spent hours yeah. on the phone with them every day. Mm -hmm. Couldn't figure out what we wanted. So eventually we realized we needed some professional help because we couldn't do it ourselves. Right. I mean, you were great. hopefully, thank you. <laughs> hopefully yeah. someday they'll up their game with the communication. Yeah. But right now, it's still what you went through is still being experienced by a lot of people um, yeah. week in, week out. Hopefully won't continue way into next year, but the communication, the copy and paste style communication, yeah, the calls exactly. where you talk to a different rep and they give you different ideas each time. Yeah. The inconsistency of responses is really just hurting a lot of businesses. It's unfortunate. Yeah, that's true. But, yeah. yeah, we had a lot of reps tell us like every time we'd call, we'd get a little nugget of hope that, oh, we're going in the right direction, but then that would always lead to a dead end. I know the false, the false hope, yeah. the promises that this is the last one, the last hurdle to jump. Yeah. yeah. No. But you know the worst, and the worst thing, Chris, they actually didn't have the power to actually in execute anything anyway. That was no. the. I tell you, even after they told us, they said, "Well, you need another department." Why didn't they just? Why weren't they transparent up front and say, "We really can't help you"? I know. They were just logging information. I know, I know. They're supposed to tell you why you have an appeal denied, or why you have gotten stuck, or why something, just to help you get forward. But then they retreat to saying, "Well, I think your appeal needs this." based on past experience, which doesn't necessarily match your unique situation. Mm -hmm. And so there's not a lot of creative thinking there. It's a lot of kind of mental copying and pasting, even when they're on the phone with you, I think. Um, and, and it's creating more log jams and, and obstacles, like I was saying. So um, what other advice would you have for other people in your same situation, other than working with us on it? If anyone's trying to figure this stuff out, even to get to the point where they decide they need help, what advice would you give? I'd say go to www.ecommercechris.com. Yeah, and, and then there just, is. yeah, I mean. I mean, it's true. Like so Handing off to, to us ourselves. earlier. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Chris, it would have been a lot bro. easier. Like, we really yeah. thought we could do it ourselves. And like I said, they gave a little bit of hope. So every, you know, we respond and we had a couple of days, get a little more mm -hmm. hope, respond. So basically, we spent a few, probably a few weeks of wasted yeah. time. We could have got it done a lot quicker by going to you. 
Because we, like I said, we thought it would be simple. It's, it seems like it should be simple. I know submitting documents, simple. right? What yeah, could be exactly. easier? Exactly. <laughs> yeah. It's not Write exactly a quick message. Yeah. yeah. It's not yeah. exactly rocket science, like you said, Chris. We'd submit mm -hmm. them and still they didn't resolve it. And I learned this a certain vernacular language, and you were really good. And yeah. I want to touch on this, Chris. This is really to really compliment you. You understood. I love the, compliments. Yeah, you understood the Amazon language lingo. There was a vernacular there, and the way you wrote, it got their attention. So, you know what? Um, that really accelerated us getting reopened. Like Derek said, we spent weeks thinking, this is easy. You know, this was common sense to us. Right. But common sense did not prevail here. The escalations process is the, the resort that a lot of sellers have to go to because they get stuck so easily now versus a couple of years ago when maybe you could submit a new one and then you'd get a little bit closer to the target. Um, they like to kind of pull you back to square one and put you back at the beginning and take you in a circle. And so well, what I do know is they like, like control. The, what I do know, Chris, is they like control. Derek said something really important, important and precise uh, about uh, three minutes ago. Mm -hmm. that, <laughs> it's the only place he shops. I, you know, my wife's the yeah. same. Christina doesn't shop anywhere. Jeff Bezos has done such an incredible job. Derek Poo, yeah. my chief financial officer, chief operating officer, and my wife, they, I've never shopped on Amazon in my life. I've never gone to Amazon shop. But Derek, and Christina, they shop there all day long. So that told me everything, you know, because I'm not a shopper, you know? Well, I mean, e-commerce was eating into retail before. And then as a result of the COVID-19 pandemic, there's even more online buying, um, mm -hmm. certainly in the United States, but I think everywhere at this point, um, as they perfect the whole last mile delivery. I mean, Amazon's only going to get bigger and they're only going to eat more and more market share every year. It's just a question of how much of a percentage each year well, they eat into real re, uh, retail. So, yeah. Um, yeah. And, and of course, that's got Walmart's attention, as you can see. You know, mm -hmm. you know sorry, Jeff, I'm mentioning the competitor. But <laughs> Jeff's aware of Walmart. Jeff is <laughs> yeah. aware of the upcoming, uh, the looming head to head. Coming out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Many years of, of um, you know, butting heads with Walmart yeah. coming. I got it. Then one thing, Jeff, I love you still. Okay. Don't worry. I love you. Man. It's all good. You're great. I'm proud of you. Okay. But your brand's going to be able to grow. I mean, we're glad we got you back up and on all these different marketplaces. So I'm sorry you had that initial suspension that led you to contact us to begin with. But future is bright, right? Heading into 2021 yeah. now. Well, I just gave, I just stroked Jeff nice here. I hope he gets this video. Jeff, I just stroked you. Make sure you put me on the front bloody page, okay, mate? Right, I told them, right. I just told e-commerce, Chris, how great you are. <laughs> Jeff knows. Jeff knows. We're good. Hey, you know, it's, you know what's great, Chris? You, you're telling me you used to be a comedian. I mean, you think about it. You know, Jeff, Jeff, should, Jeff should be utilizing us, not paying us. He, you know, we don't do that. He should be utilizing us and some sort of reciprocal agreement because we're right now, we're the best advertising Jeff could ever get know, right now. I know. I know. Number one nutrition, nutrition company in the world, Freeze or New Zealand, and the yep. number one uh, Amazon resolver, e commerce, Chris. Did you get that, Jeff? Look after us, mate. Yeah. Looking forward to keeping in touch with you guys heading into next year and beyond and, and your growth story, your revenue increases. I can't wait to hear more about it. Thank but you. thanks for thanks for dialing me up and talking to me today. And uh, yeah, I, I, I want Derek to have the last say, uh, but what do I do? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Any last you know, before I do, Chris, you know what? <laughs> do you, what do you think Jeff, Derek, you and I have in common? I'll make it easy, bro. It's a uh, New we Zealand. All spend time Jeff, in this, yeah, that's why right. he been, loves New Zealand. I didn't know Jeff loved New Zealand. I didn't know. Yeah, he loves it. Absolutely. Oh, absolutely. And that's you know what? To me. I, yeah, absolutely. And you know what? We'll take Jeff fishing with us. That's what we'll do, Chris. We'll take him down <laughs> on the we'll take him down onto the freezer and turn a mussel farms. We're gonna catch a couple of snapper. Jeff would love that experience. I know you would. I, I think he would. I think yeah. he would. Yeah. yeah. And he he can definitely fly anywhere he wants in his own jet. Do you think so. do you think he'd give us a ride in his golf stream, Chris? I don't know. We're going to have to wait and see on that. <laughs> yeah, don't forget us, okay? Derek, just finish up by telling, um, you know, the world how great Chris was, really. He, he did an incredible job for us. Okay, final okay. word, Derek. Yeah, no, so we, we, I mean, like I said, we originally wanted to do it ourselves, mainly because we didn't want to spend the money to get it fixed, and we figured it can't be that hard. And then after a few weeks, it wasn't working. So we yeah. looked around for other companies. We found three or four that we talked to. You are by far the best. Um, so, yeah, like I said, and the results were great. Yeah, that, that's we all were, yeah, we we were excited to be working with you guys too, and I was excited to be talking about New Zealand as much as we have. 
Yeah. Um, but also just to get your brand back on and going and to stabilize your Amazon presence across the, all these marketplaces. So yeah. thanks for considering us and using us. And we're always Chris, happy to help. Just something for the potential customers you're going to have. I want to, anyone that's watching, Chris was really up front with us. He said, he said, no, we'll, he said, no, we're not cheap, but we'll get the job done. So don't nickel and dime, Chris. I just, Chris, it's important they know it. Mm -hmm. I, I, paid, I paid full boat to Chris. I paid full boat. It's premium price. Because you know what Chris said? No, pay me my money. I'll get it done. And here it is, Chris. You got here it Here we are. Here we are. Here yeah. we are. Okay. Thank you, Chris. God bless you. Thank you, Derek. Thanks, guys. Thanks, mate. Bye-bye.